Former Twitter security chief Peter Zatko testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee on Tuesday. During the hearing, Senator John Kennedy asked Zatko point blank if, quote, half of the employees at Twitter have access to Senator Grassley's account. Zatko responded, quote, based upon what I saw, technically, yes. In his testimony to the government, Zatko alleged he saw multiple failings in Twitter security that led him to believe the company was, quote, misleading the public, lawmakers, regulators, and even its own board of directors over its ability to protect user data. Thank you. Thanks, Senator Klobuchar. Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Zotko, give me 30 seconds. Well, strike that. Senator Grassley is an active user on Twitter. I'll use his, him as an example. Give me 30 seconds on the type of information Twitter has on Senator Grassley or someone like him. Um, if I was, uh, uh, if, if there was somebody uh, just like what the CTO came to me and said, hey, we've got a problem with this user. Is this user? Uh, just, just give me 30 seconds on the type of information sure, that sure. Twitter has on the average Twitter user. Sure. Um, what's the phone number? What's the latest IP address they've, they've uh, connected from? Are there other IP address they've connected from? Is this the uh, current email? How long have they been using that email with the account? What are the prior emails uh, for it? From the IP address, there is a where do we think they live? Um, where do they, we think they're connected to right now? Are they still connected even if they're not actively using uh, the information? What type of device uh, are they connected with? Um, what type of web browser are they using? Which brand is it possibly? Which computer? What language did they connect in it? Um, those are at, at some of the uh, okay. front end systems. Thank you. For, thank you for that. Um, and I want to be sure I understand you're telling, you're telling this committee that uh, all of the engineers and half the employees of Twitter have access to Senator Grassley's account. Half of the employees of Twitter are engineers. The engineers are by default given some access to the production environment. To if uh, it is uh, from what I saw, if they wanted to root around in the data and find it, they could find it. Okay, and let me I try that some again. What you, I'm going to be sure I understand. Okay, I'm not trying to trick you. From what from your testimony, I understand that half of all of the engineers and half of the employees at Twitter have access to Senator Grassley's account. Is that correct? Based upon what I saw, technically, yes. Okay. And if they go into Senator Grassley's account, if an engineer does, for example, Twitter doesn't know that that engineer has done that. Is that correct? It would be difficult to find the logs showing that. Is my understanding correct? Okay. So you don't have a log in and log out system? There was not an easy ability for me to find which engineers had logged into which systems and what, and what data that they had accessed. Okay. So this engineer who, who can secretly go into Senator Grassley's account and get all this information, um, Twitter has no idea what the hell he's, that, that engineer is going to do with that information, does it? Under the hood, no. Okay. So, so... That engineer at Twitter could sell it, for example, couldn't he? I'm sorry, could what? Could sell it. Could sell access. I've, I've seen numerous accounts on underground forums offering to sell such access, whether those are valid or not, but I've seen uh, the offers to sell access to accounts, to delete accounts, to unban accounts. Well, that engineer could just call one of his buddies and say, hey, you don't like Senator Grassley. Let me give you some information here and... and uh, you may want to use it against him. Could that engineer do that? With the access they have. Would to Twitter know that the engineer had done that? Not necessarily. Okay. Now, did, did Mr. Dorsey know all this? I did explain this to Mr. Dorsey. Uh, my understanding is he did not understand this prior to bringing me in, and that was one of the reasons that he wanted to Does he understand it now? I believe after seeing How this How about hearing. your CEO? Does he understand this? Um, I believe since he has been there for 10 years and w rose up through the ranks in engineering and he has talked to the engineers and, he, and they have told them. Is that them a yes? 
I, I believe yes. I believe How yes. How about Mr. Brett Taylor from Salesforce? He's the chairman of your board. Does he know all this? Uh, he knows what I put in my reports. I do not know whether he understands it. All right, you've got, you've got an executive from MasterCard. Mimi, I'm going to probably mispronounce the last name. Ali Mayu from MasterCard. Does this board member know that? I do not know if she, if she knows that. Well, is this the kind of thing that a reasonable board member would inquire about? Uh, I would I would think so, but I've also seen that what was presented to the board was not representative. Did they did the, did, the, did during your time there? Did the board ever ask? Uh, the board did not ask these directly. Even no. after all these problems with foreign agents? Not when I was there during the board meetings. They just sat there. Uh, they focused on other topics and other yeah, priorities. Right. Dr. Lee, he's he's a professor at Stanford. Does he know all this? Uh, same response. I did not see any questions on this specific topic while I was Patrick there. Patrick Pichette, who used to be with Google. Same response, sir. All right. Oh, pa oh Patrick Pichet? Sorry. Pichet. Pa yeah, Patrick Pichet was the one who, when I brought up this instance, he hit the roof. He okay. was very upset. Did he, said, do, this is did he fix it? Uh, no, he asked for follow-on information. And, and why then, hadn't Google, why hadn't Twitter fixed this? There were other priorities. It's about the money, isn't it? It's about whatever crisis and the other priorities. To fix correct. this would cost them money, wouldn't it? It would take away focus on other It'd projects. It'd cost them money, wouldn't it? I, I, most likely, yes. Yeah. Okay, Twitter for a while was going to go into the porn business. Uh, did, did they do that? Uh, I don't know that they did that. That's, I didn't know they were going to go into the porn business. Oh, sir. okay. Well, they were. Do you don't know why they decided not to? Um, I do know that there were discussions about content or uh, about age related information and the discussions internally that I was, uh, heard were simply uh, concerns about lack of tools to correctly regulate uh, or, or constrain it. So it wasn't a moral issue. It was they didn't. Why, why didn't they go in the porn business? I do not know. OK. Sounded like you knew a little bit about it. Last question. I'll ask it quickly, Mr. Chairman. Who sets the standards for censorship at Twitter? Um, I believe that comes out of council. Your lawyer? I, I believe so, sir. And they do they talk with the board about it? Um, I uh, have been uh, advised out of an abundance of caution that I shouldn't comment on any Twitter council conversations for AC Priv that Twitter might assert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Senator Blumenthal. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you and Senator Grassley for holding this hearing. And thank you, Mr. Zatko, for your being here, your extraordinarily insightful